Um, first of all, can we check on the injury situation, please? Uh, Sergio Aguero, when do you expect to have him available for selection again? Where is De Bruyne now up to in his recovery, and when are you thinking he may be back? And how is Zinchenko with his nose? Will he be able to play, or will he need some kind of protection? I don't know. We have training right now in the afternoon, so I, I cannot tell you right now the answer. But what? I mean, with De Bruyne as well, we're, we're about to see at the minute. Kevin is not already fit, so the other two, I don't know, have training right now. OK, well, the stats show at the moment that Raheem Sterling is the most informed player in the Premier League at the moment. For you, has Raheem gone up another level in his performances this season? And if so, what's made the difference for him? He can do better. You know, we are so delighted what he has done in three years, but he can do better. In what way? More consistent. And first controls and his receptions. Uh, many, many things. But you see him developing on yeah. the right path at the moment, and the stats are showing that he's going the right way. Definitely. What do you make of the fact that you know the stats at the Definitely. minute is goal scoring as well, four in the last four in the Premier League? Definitely. So I tell many times, we are the light, but he can do better. Yesterday, Liverpool moved back to within two points of yourselves as well, and we saw Jurgen Klopp run on the pitch to celebrate the goal. What do you make of celebrations like that? Is it something that you would object to or you have no problem with? I did it against Southampton. So there are a lot of emotions there in, the, in that moment. Uh, I, I know when I did it, I was not happy to do that and against Southampton. And and so I can understand Marco Silva, I can understand Pellegrino when it happened. Uh, but sometimes it's what it is. So it's an emotion game and the last minute and everything happened in your mind and your heart and your body and sometimes to do that. But of course, I, I talk for my side. I never, of course, to be respect, they're respectful for the other ones. Do you think we have to show that? kind of personality in the moment like that rather than jumping on it and criticizing it yeah when you win is a huge personality when you lose is a lack of respect so you would judge after what happened you know when you do these kind of things when you lose you are impolite you are a bad guy you are not correct and when you win everything is acceptable we live in a world when just we judge the winners and we make a lot of prizes and a lot of big compliments because just, just we win. And that is what it is. Pep, Simon Stone, BBC. UEFA have announced this lunchtime that VAR will come into the Champions League this season during the knockout phase. What, are you, what is your view of that? Welcome. I'm delighted of that. So delighted. Premier is the last one. So sooner or later, also here in England, it's going to happen. I mean, obviously, you, you suffered last year because of decisions that you felt would have yeah, been Yeah, in this changed. season, the second goal against Shakhtar, it was a ridiculous penalty. Yeah. So it's not to talk about my benefit, what happened last season with Mateo Laos, because he knew it was legal penalty. The people surround him, inform him. The ball was Milner, come from Milner, but he didn't want to concede it. So now with VAR, VAR the only we are looking for is to make a, f a better football, a better fair decisions. So it's not because most of the times, I would say always, the refs want to do a good job. So they want to do it well, but sometimes like uh, everybody, first myself, making mistakes and they will be help. They will be help for the VAR and would be good. I and think in Spain is going well, and 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 other places is going well, and maybe it's going to be some mistakes. We are going to correct the mistakes for the next week. We are going to solve that mistake. But I think in the fear of your decision, you can be in, you can be out. When in situations the referee didn't realize, and maybe for the people is sitting there in just three seconds, say it's penalty, no penalty, offside, no offside, or whatever. So welcome. And you're operating at such a high level that these decisions can't afford to be wrong if you can avoid it. Yeah, we're going to avoid for that. So, so football is a, is a game of mistakes, basically. A game of mistakes to avoid the mistakes. And, 
and that's why we work a lot to avoid that mistakes. And the referees too. The referees want to make a good job. So in VAR, we have an extra help, you know, in a difficult decision because they are fast. The decisions are sometimes for the centimeters of for ridiculous actions. Even when we saw stop the image, sometimes we have doubts: is offside or offside, or penalty or no penalty. So imagine deciding one instant. It's so difficult for the referees. That's why they will be help. I'm glad of that. Um, just on those quarterfinals against Liverpool last season, uh, people like Kevin De Bruyne and Fernandinho had played something like 30, 40 games going into that. Would you like to have them a little bit fresher if City were to, were to go that far this time? Is that why you're rotating a bit more this season? Or? No, I have a depth squad. I trust a lot with, uh, with the players. Of course, they had um, a lot of games and they were going to, to be involved in that. Uh, uh, I don't know. Always with what we do in the right moment is to go in well today in the game we're going to play. So nobody knows if you rotate the team or you don't rotate the team, how it will be the team in February, March and April. Nobody knows. So we try to do our best, but maybe what it works this season about no rotation to players will be rotating next season. So it's not every situation is completely different. It's, it's the FA Cup draw later. You, some of those players played in the FA Cup. Could you maybe play a, a, a more of a second string team for that? In the FA Cup? Yeah. It's in January. So, so if you, are you thinking about maybe rotate? In January, so I don't know what's going to happen in January. So we have still nine or ten games before. So I don't think about that. We'll see the draw. Welcome. But I don't, I don't know what's going to happen in January, believe me. And I don't know what's going to do. Hi, Pepper. Andy Hampson from the Press Association. Um, Javi Grazia signed a new contract at Watford recently. How much have you come across him over the years, and what do you think of the, the work he's done at Watford? Excellent. So it was in many countries. He did well. So you know, Watford, I'm going to give continuity, you know, in the same project, same idea with the same manager. That helps a lot to give a stability one club when you have a manager for a long time. Of knows everybody that contracts the manager depends on the result. But hopefully it's going well, and he can stay long, long term here. Okay, you know, just uh, one other from me. Um, you said in an interview recently that you're a, a fan of Elton John, and you'd like to see him in concert. Uh, any plans at all to speak to him tomorrow and trying to arrange that? <laughs> uh, I think he's not going to play like a fullback. <laughs> so I, I think he's not coming. Huh? I think he's not coming. He's a concert. He's going to miss a big game. <laughs> Guys, we run embargo, please, for uh, 